Hey guys, I'm back with another Nexus 5 video. And in this one, I'm gonna show you how you can root this device using a Mac. Now, before you begin, you need to know that rooting your phone does void your warranty. And if anything goes wrong, you're on your own. But if you follow through the process properly, I don't think you should have any trouble rooting a device. And by the end of this tutorial, you will have super user permission and you can use some really cool apps like Tasker. So let's cut the intro shot and get right into it. So before we start, you'll need to download a file from a website called downloadandroidfiles.org. I'm going to link this in the description. And once you have the file, unzip that to your desktop. So you should have a folder called root nexus 5. Now connect your nexus to the Mac and open the folder and you should be able to see a file called update super su. Just drag and drop that into your phone storage. Now we are all set to begin. Now before you start, make sure the phone is completely charged because you don't want it to give up in between a process. Now the first thing that you need to do is turn off your phone. Once your phone is completely turned off, you'll need to enter the bootloader mode by pressing the power and the volume up and down keys all at the same time. Leave the keys once the phone vibrates. Now we have successfully entered the bootloader mode. The next thing that you'll need to do is connect the Nexus to your Mac using the data cable. I recommend that you use the same data cable that came with your phone when you bought it. Now on your Mac, launch the terminal from System Utilities. And once you've done that, type in CD space desktop and hit enter. Then type in CD space root Nexus 5 and again hit enter. The next command is dot slash fastboot hyphen Mac space OEM space unlock. Hit enter again and you should be able to see an ellipsis indicating that the process is going on. Now on your phone you'll get a screen asking if you want to unlock the bootloader. Use the volume up key to select yes and then hit the power button. This might take a couple of minutes and once you're done it will say ok finished which means our bootloader is now unlocked. You can check this at the bottom of your screen which will show that the lock state is unlocked. Now press the power button to restart the phone. Once your phone restarts, you'll need to set it up with your Google account once again. So take your time and do that. Now we need to flash team win recovery on the device. For this, you'll need to power off the phone and enter the bootloader once again using the power and the volume up and down keys. Once you've done that, connect the phone back to your computer and launch the terminal once again. Now the first two commands are going to be the same, CD space desktop enter cd space root nexus 5 enter now the next command is dot slash fast boot hyphen mac space flash space recovery space open recovery hyphen twrp hyphen 2.6.3.2 to hyphen hammerhead dot img and hit enter. Now this will take just a couple of seconds to finish. Once that is done, use the volume rocker keys on your phone to scroll down to recovery mode and then press the power button. Now in a couple of seconds, you should be able to see the team win logo. And after that, you'll be taken to the recovery project. Now click install and locate the file that we have transferred to the phone. That's update super su. Once you've located the file, just click on it. And you'll be taken to the screen. Now swipe the slider at the bottom of the screen to the right. Once that is done, click on reboot system. So now the device is successfully rooted. When you go to your app store, you should be able to see an app called super su. And now just to check if the phone is actually rooted, you can use an app like Titanium Backup, which needs root access to check if you actually have root permissions. So you can say grant. And as you can see, the app is working perfectly well, indicating that we do have root access. I hope the video was easy to follow. And if you found it useful, do give it a thumbs up. That helps in growing the channel. And if you had any trouble following through the process, I have all the steps listed in the description down below. So just go through them. And do subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more of Nexus 5 videos or Android videos. I'll be posting a lot. And also like my page on Facebook that is Helpintosh. I post a lot over there as well. And yeah, that's it for this video guys. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.